Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centaurian, 753, with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution, all roads lead to Delhi playing as India. We are approaching $10 billion here, $9.4 billion, with a GDP per capita of 5400 which, uh, that is definitely growing. Unemployment is below 5%, inflation is all the way down below 5%, that's a great number, I haven't seen that number in a while. With the 4% growth, so these are fantastic economic numbers. Uh, click start here, we're going to go through the end of the quarter. Uh, let's just check out tax taxation here. 99, we're about to get to $100 billion in excess. The economy is growing, booming again. Uh, again, we have been building infrastructure throughout the country, roads. All roads are going to lead to Delhi. That is the plan. I think we have completely integrated the south in uh, major highways. And now I need to move. I've been moving for the north into the central areas. Actually, some cities around Delhi that do not have uh, roads connected, highways connecting them. Of course, there is Pakistan, which still uh, all these rivers along, all these uh, cities along the Indus River here in the Indus River Valley are not connected by roads. <clears throat> also, transportation via water would probably be cheaper, as most geopolitical analysts or scientists out there say. Um, but I'm not sure if the Indus River Valley is navigable the whole way. Probably is. I don't know about that. Um, that's a good question. I'm not a geography major, even though I teach social studies. I don't know that specific geography about the Indus River. I think it is. Um, either way, the goal of the series is to connect all cities, all roads to Delhi, uh, so all cities should be connected to Delhi, that's one of the goals that we're trying to do. Uh, been getting some urgings from the Warhawks on the channel, uh, they want, want to see another war. Uh, I do need to integrate these cities, and the only way to really do it, I think, I could go that way, but the best way to do it would be to actually conquer Bangladesh. There have been people on the channel who do not want me to go after Bangladesh. Um, Bangladesh has a half trillion dollar GDP, 180 billion, that's not as many people as I thought. They are one of the top 10 uh, countries in the world in population. 44 billion dollar cash surplus, that is amazing. Shutting Unhe unhealthy housing situation, we'll have to resolve that. We're Here are the GDP and growth figures for the last year. As you know, these are the most important economic indicators and the most revealing of the health of our economy. This is... Oh, sorry. I didn't hear what figure that was. I think it's a good figure. Uh, I do have some dirt on Bangladesh, which I think I would bring before the UN. I think I need to build more military bases out here. I actually have a number of air bases. I would like an army base. Earthquake. Is that a new earthquake? Oh, no, that's just from the old earthquake. All right, we do still have these natural disasters that we're dealing with. Somebody had suggested, and I forgot who, I'm sorry, I forgot to look at the comments before I made this video. Somebody had suggested increasing funding for natural disasters, earthquakes. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's boost that a little bit. Oh, that, that's nothing. Floods, we probably could use work on that. Drought, heat wave. This is nothing. Why do I not have this? Cyclone? I don't know if I have ever had any. Uh, volcanic, volcanic eruptions or any of that other stuff, but twenty million dollars for covering these natural disasters. I think that is well spent. The changes you have made, this revise one week. Okay, we've been. This is twenty twenty seven. I think I've been playing this game since two thousand eighteen. Let's check that out here real quick. Yeah, two thousand eighteen. So it's almost been a decade. I've been in control here. The terrorist organization has nodded off. The Ooh, big push for agriculture, meteorology, and environment, all like that. Spending increase. What is What's your problem, lady? What's the getting through the century to see such garbage? This lady hates me. I would kick your ass and the kick last the woman asses of your me. idiots. But I respect the office. My oh, poor country. What have you become with such fools? 106. And she's very popular. Wow, good thing I'm doing too. All right, lady, get out of here. I don't need to deal with you. So, the argument is for war. The Hawks want to see action. Uh, Bangladesh, like we said, let's take a look at this again. 
Uh, they have six nuclear warheads. Where do they get the nuclear warheads? Uh, their army is 157,000. That's nothing. I was always worried about conquering it, though, because it would probably bring down my total GDP per capita, since it's such a high uh, population country. It is in the top ten. I wonder what it is now, actually. Let's compare these countries. Bangladesh is seventh. That's not, you know, the world today. I think it's more like eighth or ninth, but uh, Mexico in the top ten. I think that moved. Actually, I can check this out. Well, Bangladesh was 7th in 2007. Oh, that's 2018. They stayed. I don't know if Bangladesh, I don't know if this is accurate. Nigeria, I know, is very high. I know these all, oh, Mexico was in the top 10 earlier. Japan in the top 10. High Japanese population. Ethiopia surpasses them. Russia dropping from 9th to 8th. Population total dropping. And yeah, Russia does have a declining population. Uh, in the world today, so that is just something to uh, consider. What do you have here? GDP. Our GDP, we are third in the nation. Originally, we were seventh. We've grown by about seven trillion. GDP in the United States is now over 20. Chinese GDP is 31 billion dollars. Uh, I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. I don't know if I buy this whole China surpassing the United States. Uh, deal in reality, uh, but you know that's a that's a debate for someone with more expertise than me. Just got a text message. Uh, we went ahead of France, United Kingdom, Germany, Japan. Brazil has moved to sixth. Italy still remains in the top ten. Canada fell off. Who moved in? Russia. Yeah, Russia was 12. So their uh, population shrunk, but their GDP rose. That's pretty good. Life expectancy would be another thing that will take a hit if we incorporate Bangladesh. Yeah, where's life expectancy? I think it's under their economy. I don't know. Where is life expectancy? Life and health. It is not in life and health. Why? Calories per capita per day. Luxembourg! Wow! A lot of calories there, Luxembourg. Portugal, Greece, Belgium, look at all these, all these wealthy countries. Wealthy with GDP per capita. Let's check that out too, actually. Where are we at GDP per capita? Oh my god, 127. Oh, that's where we were. We did not go up much. Even though our GDP per capita has more than doubled, we only went up about less than 10 in the rankings. So I would like to bring this GDP per capita up a lot more. Bangladesh, however, 133. It's gone up. Not much. So I'd have to deal with that. What else do I have to deal with? I don't know where demography is. There's life expectancy on the demography. So originally we were 68 years life expectancy. 119 on the list. With number one, what the heck? Japan with 83. I wonder if it now. That's ridiculous. Hundred a year. I was thinking if like one goal for like a series would be to get life expectancy up to like a hundred years. That would that's got to be impossible. Scientific research, maybe. Who knows? Um, where are we now? Sixty-eight is where we started. Seventy-three is where we're at. Lithuania is up to ninety. Life expectancy in Lithuania is ninety. Wow, move there. That seems cold. Lithuania up to 90 in life expectancy. That's sick. Maybe you could have. Uh, you know what? If you were going to do that game, that's like a scenario I'm just thinking off the top of my head. If you're going to do a scenario where you got the life expectancy in a country up to 100, you want to make it one of the smallest countries in the world, probably. Small and wealthy, like Luxembourg. 
Although, reduce that calorie content, probably. Um, Bangladesh, where are we? Bangladesh, like I can see, 71. Eh, not bad. Down 0.8 years. A couple months they lost. They were 97. Huh. It's not bad life expectancy for Bangladesh. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. With their poverty level. So, incorporating Bangladesh into the whole system... It's gonna hurt our education? Probably. Alphabet, because you know. I get that. Back to this. Life expectancy again? Education. Education and research. Alphabetism. Which I believe is literacy. Maybe not. I guess it's the amount of illiterate people. This seems like a number you want to go down on. Do you want the number to go down? Um, Bangladesh is right there. Okay, so that's not bad. Alright, so the argument to invade and incorporate Bangladesh isn't really bad. I guess we could do that. I want to get my soldiers in position. Um, more. My army is in position. So, I'm thinking of construction of some military bases in India. It will cost a billion, and I kind of want to. Insurance. Near the Chinese border for sure, and let's put one in the south. So, the $44 billion, I'm going to probably spend 22 this quarter. This is two. India position. Uprising from militarism. Yep. Oh, big uprising. I don't want to deal with any of these people. I don't care. The other thing I should probably do is an arms deal. Huh? I haven't dealt with arms in a while. But let's first help out the housing. Dilapidated houses, I'm thinking 100 G. hundred G is seven billion, nine billion. That leaves me fourteen billion dollars for roads still. Let's improve those dilapidated houses. And I do still want to spend money on well let's build some roads actually. All roads lead to Delhi. We have to make sure we keep going with the roads. Is that? We should build a highway cutting across there. Transport. Construction. Housing, humanitarianism, militarism. Highways. Alright, let's do highways. This ways. Highways go these ways. That is six billion. Less than six billion. Four billion? Cessation catastrophe? What the heck is that? Budget surplus, one percent. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year well, based on calculations that we made last month. This is an average figure. It reflects an unemployment. Last quarter stands at five, down from seven. Overall results are very good. Highway launching again, waste of public funds. Who cares? That's what they say every time. These roads are connecting. And I do want to build one more road in this province, just to finish this province off. Transport. Main highways. 12,000 main highways. Let's round about here. Connect everything there. Construction. Tourism is getting a bump.
National holiday. Everything has been. I will appear there. Watch out for growth. I didn't get much growth last time. What are we looking at for growth? 1.8. That's nothing. Where is my taxation? We are at 43. It dropped. Every year it drops, I guess, because uh, maybe because of our spending. I think as well. But we still have 60 trillion dollars in treasury reserves, which is amazing. Bangladesh, no, not yet. I'm gonna keep you. We're gonna get rid of you later. Bangladesh is on the chopping board. I do just want to build a few more roads. So I am trying to achieve the goal here. 12,000 miles. Okay. I don't care what you say. Right, I think I got most of the cities to the south and the west, minus everything, or south and east, minus everything east of Bangladesh. Should be covered as far as roads. I think there's some more roads in and around Delhi that I need. That'll be it for this quarter as far as road building, I think. Uh, information on China. Two nuclear weapons. They are selling off nuclear weapons. I'm not ready for China yet. That will be the climax of the this, of this series. I think the climactic end to the series around episode 100 when I'm planning is a global war with China. Maybe I'll use nuclear weapons. I've never done that before in this game. Um, yes. Still a few cities to connect here. Just finish these cities off, actually. I'm kind of addicted to building roads. And they are taking forever. 14, no, 12,000 highways. Yes. Connect. I don't even know if these, this road network makes sense. But they are all connected. Oh boy, we'll save that for later. Alright, I gotta deal with this uprising. Appear on television. See if that happens. Indecisive. Indecisive appearance on television. The current situation is critical. I ask you all, led by your conscience, to measure the impact of the current unrest that is shaking our country and to return to reason. We must stop the violence and resume the path of dialogue. Send in the police. Okay, don't want to get rid of that. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Famine. Earthquake. All right, we gotta get rid of these uh, salary increase. Uh, let's see. They did one more salary. There was something like a compensation crisis. I don't know what that was. Let's just give everyone a salary bump. Two point three point three billion dollars across the board. Okay. Reinforcements have arrived. Where is my natural disaster? Where are my natural disasters? Earthquake. Donations. Donation transfer. Uh, send in emergency aid. I'm going to send them three billion. That should cover the international funds and a few extra bucks from our fund. I think. And we are about 7 billion away from covering that earthquake. What about famine? This never ends. Never ending famine. Jeez. Seven, five. 5 billion. 
see what happens there. Government contributions. I'm gonna have to contribute more if we're gonna catch this number. It keeps getting bigger. That's a problem. Alright, to the uprising. Check this out. Oh, this is they're done already. Do it. Arrest him. Only one guy left here. Arrested. Right, are they all arrested? They are not all arrested. Who is it? Oh, that guy. One last guy to get. Victor Square. Taken care of. We have subdued the rebel movement. There's no good. more unrest. Okay, so let's see here. Keeping, let's get the game going. Asian Our nation football ready. cup. But if I may, galvanize the troops. One week before the beginning of the festival, the hotels are full of bursting. Photographers and TV crews have gone all out again. It's another festival. Your presence, even if it's just for a day, would light up our event. I don't remember if I contributed more funds or not. Might be too late. Deaths abroad. Okay. A week from the beginning of the competition, our team is perfectly prepared. Good. We got good athletes. We got good athletes and good artists. Gotta give India that. And we are two bases under construction here. Military base. Almost 10% completed. Appearance at the National Film Festival from the Prime my Minister. That's me. And women. On this solemn day, I want to express my pride and affection. Today, while celebrating the history and genius of our beautiful country, I wish to remember what unites us rather than what divides us in order to look into the future with confidence. Okay. And no, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so we're at the end of January here. Uh, have we recovered a little bit from that end of the year refinancing? 43 billion still. And the National Treasury Reserve is down, 55. Growth is almost at 2%. Inflation, you know what I can do? Maybe I can lower interest rates. Half a point. Good happens there. Compensation catastrophe. Oh, compensation for catastrophe. I read that wrong. Okay. How much more? Government contributions 13, 22, I need 7 billion more. Interest rate decrease. Measure will encourage consumption. I can encourage consumption by lowering taxes too, but I'm not ready for that just yet. Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing lately. Good. But their living conditions remain tough. Alright. What do we got here for enemy units? But I am so sick of Afghanistan. More money. Uh, 
I just gave you a salary increase. We intercepted a commando unit that was trying to sabotage one of our industrial sites. Quick calculation using Murphy's Law. Foreign Affairs were informed of the matter and are getting ready to issue an official protest to the French authorities. <coughs> French are coming after us now, right? Anticipated tensions between religious groups. I don't know how to deal with that. I have no idea how to tension with religious groups. That is not my wheelhouse. Fight against terrorism. 6% of the global GDP. We are at 2% growth. Yes. Lowering those interest rates works. Look at the inflation. Still 4.2. Unemployment is approaching 4%. Economy is great. This is actually a really good economy. I am very happy with this economy at this point. Um, I wish the GDP per capita was higher. It is getting higher. Let's see. Hostages taken. Nah, come on with the hostages. Told you how. 90 hostages taken. Students and professors. I do not like that. Not during the film festival. They chose that time. Fine, give him five billion. End it. Hostage taken. I'll wait to hear from my guys for when they're ready to launch the rescue operations, because those have been going really well, actually. I don't think I've had one failed rescue attempt. Here we go. Hostage is taken. Let's not yield to the whims of these evil terrorists. The more time goes by, the more dominant they will feel, and then they might take a hard line on their demands. It is time to intervene and to give the assault order. I accept. Do it. Go get them. I wonder when these roads are going to be built. The assault was a major success. Yes! Our intervention team showed considerable professionalism, and the terrorists were shot or captured. With the exception of some people with minor wounds, there were no casualties among the hostages. Beautiful. Beautiful. Salary increase. These guys are greedy bastards. Excuse me, sorry. Greedy people. What do I have here? Taxes. 48 billion. Ah, uh, Asian National Football Cup. Sporting victory. Our team lost the final match. Ah. The game was balanced, and we played well enough. No need for regrets. The players played a superb tournament. Even if they are disappointed, they should at least come to greet their public in the stadium. Let us raise morale. We can be proud of what we have accomplished together. Okay. Well, success in sports. This seems to be growing. The economy seems to be growing over the course of the year. We're at 2.26% economic growth. Inflation is almost down below 4. Unemployment's approaching 4. If the employment gets to 2, I'm going to raise the retirement age again. Um, yeah. I was thinking about building more secondary schools there for a second. I don't think so. Okay, I think we've gotten to about 30 minutes. So, that's going to be it for this episode, but I do want to uh, talk about the channel a little bit. Um, school starts next week for me, so I'm not going to be doing as many videos. Uh, I'm going to try to keep up a good amount of GPS4 videos. Probably going to do Saturday morning live streams. I might bring them back, at least for the fall. 
winter will be difficult because then I have uh, speech and debate tournaments. But um, in the fall, I think I can bring back uh, live streams. Uh, I enabled super chats and endorsements on my channel too. So uh, if anyone uh, wants to contribute there, feels like they want to contribute to the channel, I'd appreciate that um, when we do the live streams and such. Uh, if you don't, you just want to tune into the channel, that's fine, don't worry about it. Um, I haven't been making too much money on this. It doesn't seem like uh, my revenues are growing any. It feels like it's sort of st stagnated a little bit as far as my YouTube revenues. Uh, so I am trying to diversify the channel a little bit. I did start a uh, new series, Making History of the Great War, although I got hit with a copyright uh, violation because of the music, but I am in communication with uh, some of the developers of the game, and I think it looks like they're going to grant me copyrights, and then I should be able to file a complaint on YouTube. Ooh, nice! Our governmental cell in full. So I'm going to try to bring back some more of those games. Uh, if there's any other games people think they'd like to see me play again, I don't want to spread my channel too thin. Some people said I was doing that over the summer with too many games, too many episodes, or episodes from too many different games. Again, I won't be able to do as many. I'll try to keep up the Total War game because I think some people analysis. were Coupled with interested in that, even though that's really not that popular. I think one one episode a week for that one probably. Uh, and this GPS Four could probably get maybe two or three, and then maybe one or two on uh, making a Great War. Probably looks like what I'm going to be doing in the fall. Uh, there is also a game called Plutocracy that's supposed to be coming out soon that I funded on Indiegogo, which I think I may try to bring that one in too. And, uh, yeah, that seems to be my YouTube situation as of right now. I don't really have anything else. I've been playing Hearts of Iron on my own. I was playing it. I'm playing against Poland, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, um, trying to survive. <laughs> Gone fascist. Uh, joined the Axis so far. And, uh, Earthquake. Yeah, let me play it as Earthquake. I thought I paid the Earthquake. Give me a break with the Earthquake. Send emergency aid. We're going to finish this off, I think. I don't know if that was enough to finish it off. Yes, it was. Okay, so yeah, that's everything going on my channel. Um, and me. There we go. And it looks like this quarter is going to end, but I'm going to save that for the next game, so or for the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to see more videos. Uh, like the video if you did, and feel free, as always, feel free to comment down below. And you can support me on Patreon in the link uh, in the description below. Hopefully, uh, live streams Saturday mornings on YouTube. Still haven't been sure about Twitch yet. Um, I might be continuing that haven't decided when. I missed last night because I had a family gathering, golf tournament, fantasy football type thing, barbecue type thing going on, so I didn't get home till late. So, uh, and then next weekend's Labor Day in America, so I'm not sure if I'll be getting Twitch in there. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Twitch. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.